Hello, I'm Madison um, and today I'm going to make a brief little snippet video of how the Thrive program has helped me with my emetophobia and general confidence and you know it's just helped me grow as a person. Um, before the Thrive program I was an absolute hopeless mess just putting it briefly like in my first email to the five program like reading it back to myself I was like wow I just sound so hopeless like there was no I, I had I've tried I tried every treatment I've tried CBT I've tried hypnotherapy I tried exposure therapy I tried literally every avenue I could have possibly had I exhausted um, medication, all that type of stuff to see if it would get rid of it. But nothing really did. Nothing stuck um, apart from the Thrive Programme. I knew about the Thrive Programme for a, for, for a long time. Like I ordered the book and I didn't do it for a, a good while until I literally got so bad to the point where I was literally considering suicide rather than like living with what I had and I was like I can't do this anymore so I got the book and I got put in touch with Lisa uh, who's my fire program like consultant and she's been absolute she's absolutely amazing and um, there was not a question she can answer and there wasn't a day that I didn't push myself to do the best I could before the fire program, I couldn't eat out. I couldn't leave the house. Um, I got a driving license and I think I went out a total of like five times in a month, if that. And that was with intense anxiety. And I'd have to, you know, I'd have to take silly things with me, like my mints, my hand gel. Um, I wouldn't ever let anyone kiss me. It was really hard at the time because I had a partner. Um, I wouldn't let anyone touch me. I was very specific on who cooked my food. I would only let my mum or myself. Um, even then I didn't trust myself, I'd make her check. Um, yeah, like honestly, I was just, I wasn't living at all. And now I can quite happily say that I'm pretty much done with my metaphobia. Like, and I never thought I'd ever be able to say that, but there isn't a day now where I'm like, I can't go out because I'm worried about us being sick or, or what if that person looks sick or what if someone near me is sick? What if I was really paranoid as well? I thought that my parents wouldn't tell me if they were ill because they'd worry that I'd have a freak out. But now I, I just feel like I trust everyone so much more. I trust myself more, which is the main thing. And... Yeah, I've been I've been on holiday. I've been to Spain for three weeks. Um, lovely. I like swam across a reservoir that I'd have never done because I had this irrational thing with fish. Don't ask me why. It wasn't anything to do with my metaphobia, but it was another thing that I used the Thrive Program to get over. Um, so yeah, I swam across a reservoir. It was huge. Um, I eat out. I went to like I went to two concerts. Got another two planned this year. Um. And I drive everywhere. I do everything that I'm supposed to do. I'm a uni student and I study law. And I've actually been able to go back on campus this year. So I'm really excited because that starts after Christmas. Um, but I've just, honestly, it's been the best thing that I've ever put myself through. And I don't know, I feel like when you're so hopeless you need that little bit more of a push. Um, the FRI program is the thing that's going to get you through this. If you follow it to a T, this, this is the most predictable thing that you could ever do for your emetophobia. And I'm sorry, but if you're going to spend your life believing something, why can't you believe in yourself? Like that's one thing I've always never understood is that I used to believe the sickness belief so true took it as fact that it was terrifying it was really scary but why couldn't I just believe in myself instead and you know just know that I could cope with it 
it sounds so simple, but once you've been through the program, you'll understand entirely what I mean. And I really do recommend going through it with a coach if you can, but if you can do it by just yourself, go through it. But I found that Lisa was really helpful in just pushing me that little bit further and always check, like checking in with me during the weeks. So I knew that I was on course. And if I did ever have a blip, it wasn't a big worry. Like we deal with it and we move on. And that's the biggest thing that you need to learn is that blips don't have to be month long things that you can't get yourself out of because you can. So take this from me. I was probably the worst <laughs> emetophobe. I know not every emetophobe says that, but I was probably the worst. And now nothing bothers me really. I can literally deal with anything and I know I have the skills. So do it. <laughs> so my my words are do it. It works. I thought these were bogus videos that they'd paid for at one point. They're not because <laughs> I'm making one. So go, do it, get it done and just go and live your life. It's well too short to be worrying about being sick. <laughs> Thank you for listening.